And now, for the moment you've been waiting for. Live from the entertainment capital of the world in beautiful Fresno, California. Holy sh! It's the Mike on the Mic radio program with your host, Mike Juicy. Sponsored by Magic Broadcast. Broadcast.com. Radio for magicians. Oh, we got a phone call. Let's go to the phones. You're on the Magic Broadcast on the Mike on the Mike radio program. Who's this? Mike, this is Larry Anderson calling. Hey, Larry. How's it going? Uh, I'm good. How are you? I'm doing great. Thanks for calling uh, the, this measly little show. Well, that's quite <laughs> all right. Measly little shows all start out as measly little shows and then sometimes end up as Real big popular shows. I sure hope not. I have a love-hate relationship with radio, and I just want to keep it the way it is right now. This is fun. Well, then, okay. <laughs> you know, i got to tell you, back in, uh, oh, God, it has to be how many years ago? Six, five, six years ago? I remember those uh, those infomercials coming on all the time here in California. Yeah, it was just about five years, and believe it or not, it wasn't just California. It was nationwide. Oh, sure, of course. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, do people confuse you with Harry Anderson all the time, and does that make you sick? I should have his money. Yeah. Uh, you know, well, it is funny because uh, a fellow did, it was only this last weekend, someone uh, didn't confuse me, but actually thought that uh, perhaps, um, well, yes, I guess the answer is yes, they did confuse me, but uh, when they saw me, they realized I wasn't the Harry Anderson, but they... They had thought I, they were expecting Harry Anderson when I showed up. <laughs> but then they saw you and they realized you're much more handsomer. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> oh, ouch! No, I love, I love, I love Harry. He's a fun guy. Um, yeah, I actually did a night court episode. Uh, so um, Harry and I actually spent our downtime between scenes showing each other card tricks and stuff. So that was kind of fun. It was a fun week. Sweet. You know, one of my heroes in magic, even though he wasn't, uh, you know, a professional magician was Bill Bixby. Well, mine too, actually, because uh, I, was a, I was a naive, young, 21-year-old magician, just moved out to, to go to work with Mark Wilson back in 1972, and about uh, two months after I got out here, uh, he'd signed the deal with uh, Paramount, and I found myself you know, going to work every day at Paramount Studios and hanging out with uh, TV stars, uh, you know, and Bill Bixby, of course, was the the, the one guy who I got to know very well because he was he was the star that was there week to week uh, playing the magician. Oh, man. And in the course of the run of the show, I got to meet and, and work with a lot of other uh, very uh, talented and, and uh, successful TV people. And that that's what made me decide I want to be an actor, too. So, stupidly, I... <laughs> I transferred out of the magic business into the acting business about uh, three years after that. Well, the good news <laughs> is that you can... stupidly, you know, uh, in a joking manner, because as many people probably know, uh, the acting business is a very competitive and a very t- tough field, but I've had a, a good run for the last 20, 25 years. Well, so yeah. uh, t- uh, your, your uh, jaw droppers, VHS tapes are now available on DVD finally. Yes, you know... Um, Five years ago, when we put it, when the, the infomercial hit the air, DVD was really in its infancy, and uh, probably five to ten percent of the people had DVD players. So we thought, well, we're not going to, you know, we're not sure. going to put them out on DVD because not enough people have DVD players. Well, that's completely flip flopped, and you know, certainly no one can argue the ideal way to have any instructional uh, video, whether it's magic or. Uh, you know, ballroom dancing or, or learn how to play bridge is, is on DVD because sure. you can jump around so easily, you know, and you can replay something in a second. You can get from the end to the beginning. So I always wanted to have it on that. But uh, now that uh, it's, it's turned around, we decided it's ripe for, for the DVDs. And, of course, the infomercial is not dated at all. Anybody who does magic knows magic, uh, you know, doesn't doesn't really get dated. So we're going to... Uh, we're going to run the infomercial again toward the end of this year and, oh, and do, a, do a, another big blitz. You know, I'm not a big fan of infomercials, but I saw that one and I was watching it all the time. Uh, we had it was very well that, uh, produced. 
Thank you. Thank you very much. It, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it because we, we approach it, I think, in the right manner, uh, unlike a few other people who tried to do infomercials for Magic. Uh, you know, I wasn't wearing a, you know, a tuxedo with a ruffled shirt and standing at a green felt table. I was, you know, in the bars and at the, the restaurants where the average person could relate to them seeing themselves, you know. And yeah. uh, I was just kind of Joe Everyman doing these tricks. And uh, I think they could then see, uh, they could put themselves in my position and say, hey, you know, that, that's how I want to use these tricks, you know. And I don't want to learn how to be a full-scale magician and be taking my, you know, lugging my... Uh, my props from you know to Cub Scout banquets and doing shows. You know, I just right. want to show some tricks to my friends at a restaurant. Right. So that's how we approached it, and it was uh, it was quite successful. That's fantastic. And now there's a brand new fifth video. Is that correct? Well, no, it isn't brand new. Uh, it, it, there's uh, there was a, a bonus. Actually, it, it wasn't a bonus. It was what we call an upsell in the infomercial sure. business. And I'm sure anybody that's ever ordered a product from infomercial will know what I'm talking about. You call in to order the product, and then when you're on there, the, the uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I have to clear my throat. The um, <clears> the uh, telemarketer says, you know, how would you like to get, uh, you know, since you're one of our uh, one of our customers here, on, we were able to offer you this special uh, price on another product so then we, we you sell them or you upsell them to buy something else so we always had the 50 uh, VHS tape and now DVD which was a special um, uh, a, there's eight tricks on how to do the folding coin you know tricks to the folding coin and we sold the folding coin and the companion video for another whatever it was I think it was 1995 which was a great price because it was a, a coin and a video so yeah. that has always existed but you didn't see it in the infomercial okay that's probably why I didn't even know about it then. Yeah, that's right. yeah. Sweet. Well, that's how that worked. Well, that's fantastic. We're going to be. Uh, I, I thank you very much for uh, for letting us give away a set of your jaw droppers DVD. Uh, excuse me, VHS tapes. Yeah. So you're. <laughs> they're they're every bit all the same material as on the VHS tapes as well as the DVD tapes. And if anybody's interested, you can go get. Let me get a plug in here. Sure. We've had our website up for the last five years, so we've been selling the the product, and it uh, it is available at www.jawdroppers.com. And it's and a perfect should, gift for anybody who wants to learn magic above and beyond those trick kits that you get all the time and that you see oh, yeah. have the same things over and over again. This is the next step for anyone who's interested in magic and wants to take it to the next level. You bet. And, you know, I, I was always surprised at how many um, really uh, veteran magicians that have been in magic for years uh, would send me emails uh, through our website, and, and, or maybe some of them I knew actually said, man, I've gotten some great great new material and, and, and new wrinkles and new tips on uh, tricks that uh, I've known for years but uh, you know that they were they liked some of the presentations and some of the things that I'd added to them so it's not just for the beginner right you know, there's stuff there for even some of the seasoned magicians out there great yeah never ever stop learning keep learning that's right yeah I love to get magicians DVDs and videos and, and, and just if I can get one great thing that adds to my own repertoire I mean that's worth the price of it right there oh absolutely but we got eight hours of magic in Jaw Droppers, so, man, you're going to get a lot more than one thing out of it. <laughs> Sweet. All right, we're going to give those away tonight, and thanks again for offering those to us. Well, Mike, I was glad to do it. I was glad to be on your show, and uh, I hope, uh, you know, everybody out there listening uh, is, is, uh, gets a lot of pleasure, as much pleasure as I got out of doing magic. It's been a big part of my life. Fantastic. Again, jawdroppers.com. You bet. And you can find out more about Larry uh, Anderson at jawdroppers.com, or you can yeah. visit his MySpace page. Just heard it from the man himself, magician, actor, director Larry Anderson. For anyone uh, with no previous magic experience or for those with magic experience, a free set of Jaw Droppers VHS tapes are yours. All you have to do is call us live right now. Till the end of the show, the fifth caller is going to get a set of Jaw Droppers videos. All right. Well, thanks, Mike. Thanks, Larry. Thanks. Appreciate the call. You and bet. The offer. Pleasure, to, pleasure to do it. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye-bye. All right. You ready? A set of Jaw Droppers videos goes to the fifth caller at 888 -8 Jaw Droppers. Yeah.